Hi, I'm about to play Early Morning Rain, a song by, written by Gordon Lightfoot. But before I start playing, I just wanted to let you know that my plan here is to play the first half of the song in a finger picking style. And then, since I know that uh, a lot of people who watch these videos are really just more interested in strumming songs like this, uh, they're not looking to do finger picking, I will switch off halfway through the song and play the second half in a, in a, in a strumming style. And then when we go through the tutorial, I'll talk about both styles. So anyway, here we go, early morning rain. In the early morning rain The dollar in my hand And an aching in my heart And the pockets full of sand I'm a long way from home And I miss my loved one so in the early morning rain With no place to go Out on runway number nine Big 707 set to go But I'm out here on the grass Where the pavement never grows So that was Early Morning Rain. It's a remarkable song because um, it was written by Gordon Lightfoot back in the mid-60s, and then it was covered by an innumerable number of other acts. Um, the, the version that I happened to, um, to sort of focus on, especially when I was doing the finger-picking, portion of it was uh, the Peter, Paul, and Mary. They did a fantastic version of the song. And I sort of picked up the, that finger picking that I did there from the Peter, Paul, and Mary version. But there's all different kinds of other versions. <laughs> so Gordon Lightfoot did very well with that song, not just on his own version, but on other people's versions. And by the way, I played that song straight off the chord charts of the Marstown Uke Jam. So you go check that video link Download the free ukulele song sheet, and you can play along with Early Morning Rain. And if you're going to be in or near Marstown, New Jersey, 
on the first Wednesday of every month. Join us. Come by. Join us at the Morristown Uke Jam. I guarantee you'll have a good time there. So anyway, here we go. Let's talk about early morning rain. Uh, I'll start by talking about the chords. There's only five chords here. We'll go through them. They're all fairly familiar, but let's start with that. And then, as I said at the top here, I'll show you how I finger picked it. And then I'll also show you when I switched halfway through the song, I'll show you the, the, the strumming pattern if you want to play it that way. All right. The five chords, the first one that appears here is G. I think you all know G. Zero, two, three, two. The second chord is B minor. It's four, two, two, two. Some people will just take their index finger and put it across these three strings and add your ring finger, and that's fine. I just happen to prefer just tossing my index finger across the whole fretboard and so and doing that, but same thing. The third chord is A minor. Two, zero, zero, zero. One of ukulele world's simplest chords. And then the last chord is D seventh. And the form that I use, especially since it follows the A minor here, it's such a simple switch to go from A minor to just add your finger. I use my ring finger on the second string. Now, I have to make a note about this chord, which a lot of people, including myself, use to play D seventh. Technically, isn't even a real D seventh because there's no D note in it. <laughs> it's, it's, got, it's got an A. If you, if you fret this, um, fret the G string here, you get an A note. That's a relevant note for a D seventh chord. The open C string, the C is the seventh on the D seventh, so that belongs there. The second string, when you have this here, that's an F sharp. That belongs in a D seventh. And then there you got another A. There's no D in it, <laughs> but it sounds good. A lot of people use it. I use it a lot, and especially in this song, since it follows the A minor. Now, if you prefer to, uh, uh, a proper D seventh, here's a, here's a D seventh that's Two, 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 three. And that actually has a D note in it. How about that? <laughs> because here, that's a D note. But I chose to go from the A minor to this, and it sounds good in this song. So if you're not hung up on technicalities, you can, you can use that one. So anyway, that's the five chords that appear in Early Morning Rain. Uh, now let's talk about the, the two different uh, ways to play it. That I uh, the finger picking that I started with. I used a, a fairly simple, let me show you what I did. I started by using my thumb and my middle finger to hit the fourth and first. Then hit the thumb on the third string, index finger on the second string, watch. That. So the first move, again, is this, I, I pluck two. Then the third string. Then the second string. Then the first string. 
and the thumb again. So, and I use that pattern throughout. Okay, so if you want a finger, and again, you may find your own finger picking pattern. That's just the one I used. Starting by clicking those two, then using, the, then hitting the third string, and the second string, and the first string, and then the fourth. Pretty simple. You know, if, if you're into finger picking, that's a fairly basic pattern. And I just did that on all the chords, on the G, and the B minor. And by the way, you may have heard once in a while, just, just, for, just to throw a frill in, when I was doing the B minor, I did this. I used my middle finger to fret the third fret of the first string. So just a little frill. And then the A minor, same pattern. And the, that almost D seventh. Back to the G. And once in a while I threw this little frill in. It's just a frill, you don't have to do it, but I, you know. Put your pinky on the third fret of the. So that's the, if you want, if you choose to play this song in a finger picking style, if you're inspired by the Peter, Paul and Mary version as I was, that's, that's a way to do it. And again, some of you were probably have more finger picking patterns than I do. And you may find your own way or a better way to, uh, to play it that style. But now let's talk about if you just choose to play the chords here. doing here and, and in my head I hear one two one two three one two one two three and the way I the way I found myself doing it was down down up up down 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 up up down Again, there's nothing sacred about that. You may find your own way to do it, but I, that's how I was playing. It was a down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. And that, again, that, that rather simple uh, strumming pattern holds throughout the whole song. So that's Early Morning Rain, Gordon Lightfoot song that many, many other people covered. Um, it's a fun song to play, I think, and I hope you have fun playing it.